Nothing scrubs or sweeps quite like a good sturdy brush. Cleaning brushes in North America date back to about the 1830s. Their bristles were usually made of wire twisted into wood. Today, we have many different bristle materials, both natural and synthetic. The first factory manufactures the brush block, the hardwood base that holds the bristles. It's usually made of maple, but sometimes oak or beech. After cutting the planks to the required width, they use a special wax crayon to mark lines on both sides of any cracks or knots in the wood. A laser then reads the marks, guiding a saw to cut out the faults. At the same time, the saw chops the planks into block size lengths. The next step is called molding. A series of saws trims the blocks to the required thickness. Now they contour the pieces using a machine appropriately called a shaper. The machine revolves, running the block's outside edge against a cutting head. This profiles half the block. Workers then turn it around and line it up for a second pass to profile the other half. There's a different shaper machine for each model. This type is known as a dauber, a brush for waxing shoes. For the cuts to be accurate and smooth, it's essential that the machine's cutting heads remain sharp despite repeated use. That's why they're made of carbide, a material more resistant than steel. Workers run certain models against an extra cutting head to carve a groove in the block's edges. The groove gives your hand a better grip on the brush. These six and a half by 60 centimeter blocks will become push brooms, those wide rectangular brooms janitors use to sweep floors. The blocks go on an automated machine that drills a hole through the middle and carves two grooves in the underside. These are for the steel adapter that'll hold the broom's wooden handle. Rounded push brooms sweep more easily in corners. To produce those, workers just take the rectangular push broom blocks and round the corners against a cutting head. At another factory, the blocks go onto a machine that pierces holes for the bristles using a computer-guided drill. This particular model, a push broom, needs 240 holes. It takes barely a minute to drill them all. Next, the blocks go on to the bristle installation machine. Bristles can be made of horsehair, vinyl, plants or tree leaves, or synthetics such as polypropylene. The bristle installation machine is fully automated. As we see here in slow motion, it takes about 40 strands at a time, folds them in half, then inserts and staples them into a hole. Here's what that bristling action looks like at actual speed. The machine fills four holes per second. The factory uses this same process regardless of the style of brush block or type of bristle. Computer software guides the machinery to follow the correct pattern making possible a sweeping array of brushes and brooms.